Hi, welcome to our session on using Microsoft SQL Report Builder as a dashboard builder to provide executive dashboards that convey important business intelligence to executives. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to close out the normal dialog box that pops up when you open up Report Builder. We're going to right click into the white area, grab a gauge, select that gauge, and then we're going to create a data set. We're connecting to Microsoft Dynamics GP as our data source for our uh, real-time accounting information. And we are going to pull from a view that we've created that is going to give us the information for the executive's cash requirements view. So I'll select that information. And now I've got a report here that if I go to the pointer, I can select from that data set the value that I want to represent with this particular gauge. I'm going to right click and insert a text box, call it total cash, executive dashboard. And then I'm going to click into the scale properties. And since I know our company's cash is typically between 0 and 30 million, I'm going to set that there. And then I'm going to tell it that I want to represent the data in millions of dollars. So we can get a nice, clean visual display. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the range properties and define range 1 is always going to be our red range. So we're going to say from 0 to 10 million is going to be bad. We don't want cash to drop into that area. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to select our yellow or medium warning range. So we'll say 10 million to 20 million is going to be the next range. And then our good range, our green range, is going to be 20 million to, oops, 30 million. There we go. And we'll test that. Make sure that looks good. That does. Excellent. So the other thing we want to see is we want to see total payables. So again, we're going to right click, insert a gauge. Just for convenience, we'll just use the same gauge each time. And we'll lift that up. So it matches up there. And again, we're going to right click, insert a text box, put total payables. Click on that box, and we'll move that up. And now we want this to go and look at a different set of data. So first thing you do when you add a new gauge is you actually have to tell it, use the same data set I had on the first one. And then the next thing you need to do is choose a different value on the pointer properties. So this one will select the sum of total payables. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our range properties again. This time the bad range, we want to be at the top of our scale. So we're going to use a range of uh, 0 to 9 in terms of our 9 million. 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Click OK. And we also want to, on that scale, tell it that it is a number. And again, we're looking at it in terms of millions. So that we get a nice clean scale there. So instead of uh, 0 to 30, we're going to go 0 to 9 on this one. But payables being really high would be should be red here. So the way we do that is we go into this range properties here. And we start at 9. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That's 9 million to 6 million. 
And then we come back in and we define our next range, the mid-range, as being from 6 million to 3 million. And then we define our green as being 3 million to 0. All right, so now we can test that. That looks good. We'll save that. And we're going to put that inside of our financial charts and KPIs. We'll call this Executive Dashboard 6. Save. Now, we may want to be able to see vendor payables summary um, or a chart of checkbook, uh, individual checkbooks in a chart form. So what we're going to do is say New. And this time I'm going to do a chart wizard. Again, select my data set. And select the view that gives me that checkbook. So current checkbook position, cash positions. And we'll grab the checkbook ID into the categories and the values are going to have the current balance. And we'll click Finish, and I'm going to make this a little bigger so we can see everything nice and easy. And we'll call this uh, Checkbook Balances. And that looks fine, so let's call that Executive Cash Position 6. And then the other thing we're, we want to do is we want to get a vendor summary. So we're going to select a different view for that. And we're going to put it into a matrix report. So in our vendor total payables here, we're going to just pull into the values and we're not going to have any subgrouping here. And next Let's make that a little bit bigger. Vendor summary. All right. And then what we want to do is we want to order this by the total amount descending. We can just say order by total amount owed descending. OK. And now you can see we've got the total amount. Now it would be really cool if we could click on it and get the, all the invoices for that just that one vendor. So let's save this. This is going to be our Executor Vendor Payable Summary 6. And we're going to say New. And we're going to actually grab the details for the vendor. Next, and we're going to have a subtotal on vendor, grab the document information over into the values area. And again, we're going to expand that out. And then if we want to have it restrict on a parameter, what we can do is just go to our data set properties and put in a where clause that says where vendor ID is equal to at sign selected vendor ID or something equivalent. Whatever you define that will now become a parameter up here. So we'll save this. We'll call this vendor payables detail 6. Save that. Close that. Now we can go back to our Vendor Payable Summary 6. And if we click on the box, we can go to the text box properties. And in the action, we can say go to a report. And we'll point it to the detail report. And we'll add a parameter 
here where we'll say the, the parameter on the detail report is going to be filled in with the value from the vendor ID. And we'll save that. And then we'll go to our uh, dashboard 6. And when we click on to the payables box here, we can go to the action tab of gauge properties. And we can tell it to open the summary report. So vendor payable summary is going to open up if I click on the payables. On this one, I want to go to the gauge properties action and have it open up the chart with the cash position. Tell that to do that. Now let's save our dashboard and run it. So now you can see if I click on the uh, cash gauge, I get to see the chart. If I click on the payables, I can see my vendor summary, but then I can also drill down to see what invoices make up that vendor summary. And we can continue to put as many types of information here and as many different drill downs as we want. I think you get the concept. This is the ability to give a executive an executive information he needs that he can scan to see where things are at a particular time. And with that, know is it good or is it bad? And if it is bad, then I can click on it and I can drill down to see why it's bad. With that, that's the end of our session. How to use Microsoft SQL Server Report Builder for Business Intelligence by creating executive dashboards.